money. Call Jacob. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 7. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. What is this? April 23rd. 23rd. My goodness, April is going by fast. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 7 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. I'm Nichelle Medina. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal eye opener. The CHP searches for evidence after an apparent shooting on the 110 freeway in South LA. Am I hit, you know? And I was like, what do you mean are you hit? Gunfire erupts in a Fairfax district store. And masks back on, but with the confusing rules at airports, are travelers following the mandate? Hmm. You know what's also confusing, Nichelle, is our weather. <laughs> it's back so, and forth. Yeah, we yeah. must turn to Alex Biston. <laughs> Alex, what is going on? It's like yeah. rain, heat. I know. What's going on? This is spring. This is spring. <laughs> right. Yeah, and it does seem a lot of whiplash, weather whiplash, right? I mean, we go from record-breaking heat to cold temperatures to r briefly rain back to heat, and, and that's kind of the theme <laughs> as we head into the next few days as we're saying goodbye to the cool temperatures and hello to the heat. We're talking 80s and 90s, not necessarily today, uh, but over the next few days. So for this afternoon, yeah, we'll hit lower 80s across some of our valley hot spots, lower 70s downtown, upper 60s along the coast and 50s up into the mountain communities. But heading into tomorrow, I mean, temperatures heating up pretty significantly. I'm talking 87 degrees tomorrow, and that's not even the warmest day. So we'll talk about when that is going to be and how long the heat is going to stick around. That's coming up for now back to you. Sounds good, Alex. We'll see you in a bit. We begin with a developing story. Shots fired on a SoCal freeway. An SUV was hit on the 110 in South LA. It happened near Slauson Avenue last night. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is there live with the latest. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Uh, just before midnight, CHP shut down the northbound lanes of the 110 freeway as they investigated. Uh, you can see here behind me traffic now moving fairly smoothly. Uh, this is after the highway was shut down. This is the 110 freeway, a live look north of Slauson. It was closed while uh, CHP investigated and canvassed for evidence after a shooting happened along the freeway. CHP says it received a call of what they're calling, quote, freeway violence. Just before 10 last night, one car, specifically a SUV, was loaded into the back of a tow truck and eventually taken off the freeway. From Chopper 2, it could be seen that the back window of the SUV was hit in the shooting from a bullet. CHP then calling out a SIG alert. And that was a key there as they investigated to shut down uh, the freeway for all lanes for at least an hour and a half. And uh, earlier, the SIG alert was canceled, and now all lanes of the 110 freeway in both directions are open. What is very interesting is that the driver was uh, then able, after the shooting happened, to continue driving on the freeway until the driver could exit. And then we understand that the driver was then taken to a hospital uh, to be checked out for any potential injuries. This comes at a time where there have been a series of different shootings uh, along the freeway. So just not too long ago, there was another shooting along the 710 in Cudahy, which took the life of a mid-30-year-old man. Uh, he also had a four-year-old son. Investigators were looking into that. That piqued a lot of interest at the time. And now this shooting that's also apparently happened here on the freeway, both times CHP involved in the investigation. I should also point out that in the previous incident along the 710 freeway where the man was killed, uh, no suspect was ever caught. And in this case, investigators still searching for a suspect, still searching for clues. But at this time, there have been no arrests. We're live along the 110 freeway this morning. I'm Tina Esity. Now back to you. So scary and concerning. Tina, thank you so much. A high school basketball coach is under arrest, suspected of sexual misconduct with a young girl. Investigators are worried there may be more victims. 42-year-old Miles Alexander is accused of contacting a 13-year-old on Snapchat, then offering her alcohol and drugs in exchange for explicit pictures and videos. Alexander worked as a basketball coach and referee in the San Gabriel Valley. 
There is mass confusion after L.A. County and now Long Beach make masks mandatory again because of rising COVID cases. So where do you have to wear them and when? CBS 2's Leslie Marin got the answers at LAX. It's night one of the mask mandate back on at LAX. But as we roamed the airport, we found plenty of people unmasked and a whole lot of confusion, even between couples. He didn't think we had to, and I said, well, I think we do. And then when we walked in, we noticed some people had them on and some people didn't. Chris Barnes took his wife's advice and was wearing a mask when we talked to him, but admitted he may have slipped it down to his chin for a few moments. When you saw me sitting here without the mask pulled down, I wasn't even aware of it. So, yes, there's definitely mask yeah. fatigue. And it seems by the end of the day, airport workers may have become fatigued as well when it came to asking people to put on a mask. These flyers ask for help but aren't told to mask up. Earlier, it was a different tune. Do you have one or do you need one? No, I have one. Okay, can you wear it for me, please? Airport security told us they handed out three boxes of masks in three hours to early morning flyers Friday. I think maybe there's messaging, but I also, messaging issues, but I also think people have a lot of mask fatigue. But a federal judge ruled the CDC couldn't require masks on mass transit like planes. But LA County isn't following suit, still requiring people to mask up at airports on buses, trains, and ride shares, regardless of your vaccination status, which wasn't a problem for this couple from the Central Valley. We're all about freedoms here, but I also feel that it's about being selfless instead of selfish. And this is where things get confusing once again. Once you are on board your flight on the airplane, you won't be required to wear your mask. That is beyond LA County's jurisdiction. Reporting from LAX, Leslie Marine, CBS 2 News. A major bombshell involving a California congressman, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, caught on tape recommending former President Donald Trump resign over the Capitol Hill riot. This comes after McCarthy denied ever saying it. Here's CBS 2 political reporter Tom Waite with those recordings. I know.